Hi guys, this is your friend Aditya AK The Wizard Guy and today we are gonna have a first look at the Android version 4.2 Jelly Bean on the Motorola Razr or the Motorola Droid Razr. So let's get started. So guys, before we look at Android version 4.2 Jelly Bean on the Motorola Razr, we would have to install it. So yes, this means that this video will also teach you how to install Android version 4.2 Jelly Bean on your device. So before we begin installing 4.2 on the Razer, I would like to clarify some things. First of all, you need to learn that this is not an official update. This is an unofficial update, more of like a custom ROM and it's released quite early. Yes, this is an alpha or the beta version of the Android 4.2 for the Motorola Razr. So since this is the beta version, what all currently work on this phone are the phone app, the Wi-Fi and the messaging. It's quite stable and things like Bluetooth, camera, video camera, hardware support, uh, hardware support etc. don't work currently since this is an alpha version. So if you guys are wondering why do, why do we install this ROM, this video will help you not only installing Android version 4.2 but will dual boot it along with your stock ROM. This means that you get to keep your stock ROM, the current ROM which you, are, which you have installed on your device and you will get to try the Android version 4.2 on the device. So you can dual boot your phone anytime when you want. So this is for all those people who want to try, who want to try out how the Android version 4.2 looks like on the Razer. Enough of the talking, so now let's begin installing this Android version 4.2 on the Razer. So now, before we begin, let me tell you guys the pre-requirements. The first thing which you need to make sure is that your device is rooted. The second thing which you need to make sure is that you have a good battery life. I recommend you guys charging till 70% or so. And the third thing and the most important thing which you need to keep in mind is that in case your anything goes wrong, you know how to unbreak your device that is how to install fastboot files on your device if you guys don't know how to do that then don't follow the video first learn how to unbreak your device and then start following the video when the pre requirements are complete then you are good to follow the video now after rooting your device you need to download an app called safe strap it's been created by hashcode and dhacker really great developers and have helped the motorola community all along so i would like to thank them for this app, then you need to put, uh, you need to install Safe Strap on your device, and then once installed, just open this app, and it will ask you ask you the root permission. Just allow it, and there we go. We have the Safe Strap installed on this device. Now the next thing which you need to do is that install recovery on your phone. And once the installation is complete, it will say installation complete. When this thing is done, the next thing which you need to do is that download Android version 4.2 Jelly Bean from the link given in the description, depending upon the device that is Droid Razor or the Motorola Razor. And then you need to download the Google Apps for uh, Google Apps for Android version 4.2. Once you have downloaded them, just put them on your external SD card. And when you have put them on your external SD card and your device is like this on your stock ROM, you need to just switch off your device. Now after switching off your device, just switch, your, switch on your device. And this time when you open your device, you will see the save strap option. When you hit menu, you'll go into save strap. And if you want to continue along, then you have to hit the search button. Now I am in save strap recovery. Now the next thing which you need to do is that click on this boot options and go into this ROM slot one. I've changed the nickname. Sorry for that. I will just write the name back again 
for no confusions there we go we have this option of rom slot one on our phone then when you click on this i think uh, before doing this you need to create a part partition yes you need to create a partition so you just choose on any data like uh, any internal space which you want like 1 gb 2 gb or 3 gb i chose the 2 gb version and then created the rom slot and once you have created the rom rom slot then you have to go into rom slot and then click on activate remember you have to do this in rom slot one if you do it if you do this in any other rom slot then this rom won't work on your device just click on activate and now the rom slot one is activated on your phone this means that your phone is now ready to be dual booted and you are ready to install android version 4.2 and the google apps of the 4.2 on your device now just simply go back to the home now go into wipe and start wiping the data like the cache then the dalvik cache then the system and factory reset So now when you have done all these steps then you need to install the rom on your device to do that just simply <coughs> click on install then make sure that use internal storage is selected if you are using your sd card extension make sure use internal storage is selected or if you are using your internal storage then you make sure use external sd is selected i don't know why this is this is a fault in this safe strap then go to the rom and select the rom uh sorry yes then select the rom and then swipe to install the rom when the installation is complete just simply go back and then choose the google apps and install them and when the installation is complete just simply click on reboot system to reboot into 4.2 jelly bean remember the first boot will take up to 3 to 5 minutes so just wait patiently <laughs> 